morning, welcome to the next uh, episode of Foxland Adventures. This time we're going to walk down to Christhorpe, we're walking from the Cape Bay, so we don't have to go down the road. Hopefully, we're looking for some better than nights and shark teeth. Just Chris and myself here today, Mark uh, can't be with us, so hopefully, we'll find loads of good stuff and he can watch it on the video, be really cheesed off. So, keep tuning in and we'll get some fans for you. So we've just come down at Caton Bay, a little bit less windy down here, so we thought we'd do a little bit of a film, a little bit of a video. There's some boulder clay just along here, so we're just going to walk and have a look at that, because you never know if there's any glacial erratics in that. But we're going to be walking south, past this headland when we get to it. Um, there you go. Towards Grasthorpe itself, so it's not a bad day, a bit of rain forecast later, but you never know got our waterproofs on so if it does rain so I just walked in along and uh, Chris has found a small one not the old obviously his dacometer can't leave it alone so he's picked it up so a um, bit worn on the outside but we're going to hit it anyway so we'll just see what happens notice he's got his gloves on I'll be wearing mine today <laughs> there we go there we go Just goes to show there's stuff still here. Not quite a fossil, but someone's done a decent piece of graffiti there on the side of an old pillbox, part of the old fortifications that was along the coast during the Second World War. You can still find quite a lot of them along the East Coast, obviously a lot of falling into the sea, there's still some in fields, etc. But as the vast amount of coastal erosion works away, the fall down the beach, such as this one, as they get. And there's another one there which we've already walked past and see in the distance. And there's part of a uh, casement or something here as well. There will have been in the cliffs at one point, and probably up there, there's some more somewhere, possibly even in the field at the top. Got a uh, likely looking suspect there, look. We'll give, give Chris that to uh, have a go with, I reckon. Talking the film with. What do you reckon, Chris? So, it's worth whacking, I reckon, is it? Or is it the wrong type of, it might be the wrong type of rock? No, it's definitely limestone, grey limestone. There's a nutshell there, look. Yeah. New Kalana. So it's definitely the right sort of stuff. Right shape? Yeah. Let's give it a go. Notice again, Chris is doing all the work and I just hold the camera. That's the uh, best way to go, I reckon. Seems it prepped all that stuff for me in his shed the other day as well. I did drink his tea, so it was alright. Very tough. It's a hard one. Oh. Hard one, definitely. Is find a rock. Right, so just yeah. there we go. Might use this as an anvil because it's very tough. tough this one so not holding out any hopes really I don't think. I wouldn't thought so. No, we're gonna leave that one. I think one some more of that one more got. There is something in there. Something in there, yeah. 
it's very hard. But we'll just go we'll, we'll persevere now. Don't want to give up its secrets very easily this one, but yeah, there's something in there, but So it just goes to show that they're all split real easy. We'll call it a day, Chris, I think. Yeah, that's mate, because yeah. done for the day. That's it. Just give up. There was something in there maybe, but we're going to leave it. We've spent the best part of two minutes sitting out as Chris and there. Uh, Always did his knacker himself out, so yeah, we'll uh, look for something else then. Right, so I just turned the camera back on um, after a few steps, and there's another. I thought it was a broken nodule, but it's not, it's stuck in there, so Chris just drives it out for us, maybe. We'll have a look at it. Looks quite promising that one, but we won't know until it's out, the clear. Stuck in. Yeah, it's surprising how much suction the clay creates. Nice looking nodule. Let's see when we get it out. Yeah. 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 Do you want to do it? Have a go. Yeah, what I am going to do though, I'll get, Chris can carry on with the filming, but um, what I'm going to do is put my glove on first after uh, last one's little mishap. So if you just bear with me, safety first. I have brought a first aid kit this time, but hopefully we're not going to be using that either. So there we go. Right, let's have a go then. I use Chris's app tools as well, because obviously man's still in the backpack, so I'm too lazy to get it out. Oh, another. Really? Yeah. No, don't think it's going to be anything. A bit softer. Yeah, no, I don't think there's going to be anything. Let's see. Ah, oh, no, there we go. Empty. Empty. Split a bit easier than that other one, though. But there we go. Right, so Chris has just picked up another nodule, so fair time lucky. He's going to have a go with this. Let's see if we can find anything. How come we're still looking for nodules and ammonites in them? We're supposed to be looking for bone, apparently. Oh! Yeah, we've got one There's in there, one in look. There. Yeah. Can we just see that? Yeah, that looks quite quite nice, paratized. Yeah. But that might prep better. Yeah. So we've done. Yeah, so I'll take that. Yeah, we've done the exploratory tap on the beach now. Yeah. We couldn't see anything, but obviously Chris has now exposed that and has decided it's worth taking it over to prepping the shed yeah. as opposed to busting it on the beach. So yeah, it's well worth filming. Good. And uh, another one for the horde. Excellent. So just getting towards the headland now. The first one from Cape and Bay itself. Just walking along. Interesting looking rock there. Picked it up, looks like crushed crinoid in there. But nice where it's wet, there's probably, I don't know if you can see it, try and get it in focus, some sea etching spines there. Nice looking piece. Definitely a keeper. So I've just come walking along from Caton Bay itself. Um, just walking a bit of hard walking across this uh, sandstony part area 
and uh, it came across that's beauty stuck in the uh, in this boulder that's fell up from the cliff so looks pretty thick oh, on the edge yeah. uh, a few cracks in it but I reckon that'll come out even if it's in pieces it should be a really nice piece so it's worth stopping getting the proper tools out and we're going to have a go at that so hopefully when I turn the camera back on you'll be looking at a lovely shell or not or just a pile of bits that's nice that yeah. You probably won't be able to see on this camera, but we have got some seals over there. And I can hear them calling, and there's one just over there. There's no zoom on here, so you probably won't see him. I think Chris is maybe going to have another go. Look, you can just yeah. see it bobbing its head up. And there's some there. Fortunately enough, they're far enough away for us not to bother each other, so that's alright. Just they've got a big set of teeth on them and they can move pretty fast if they have to. And there's grass stalk just in the distance there. We're just going to get around this next bay uh, into this second one there. And then we're there. Hopefully, if the tide's gone out, there's a sauropod trackway around the corner, which we'll be filming for you as well. I don't know if the sound will pick that up, but that's the seals you can hear in the distance. So not strictly fossil collecting, but on the way there's uh, the remains of a dump. Um, unfortunately, it's probably most of it 60s, 70s. Um, this is a shame really, because I do like my old bottles and bits and bobs. But there's interesting stuff. It's quite good. Handle off some of it. water bottle <laughs> don't know how old that is but there's loads of stuff it's just not quite old enough to bother to say unfortunately But it's not all broken. Give it an hundred ye hundred years and it'll be uh, a super place to, to be coming. Just unfortunately, not now. I think people have been here. Not genuine. Bearing. Not genuine unless bearing WH. Is that? Hartley's label, so that must be a jam pot then. Hartley's jam. If someone wants to tell me how old that is, that'll be great. But there's teams of stuff, so it's just unfortunate it's don't think it's old enough really to be of that much interest. Just about got there now, so just around this headland, we'll be stopping for a bite to eat and then uh, hopefully get the camera rolling and we'll get some fans. <laughs> 